welcome. We're about to unbox the Commandante C40 grinder made from very high quality materials. Um, let's get into it. First of all, the packaging is really quite insane. Um, just very unusual shape for grinders, but that's okay. Um, makes it a little bit tricky to ship, but still nice quality to it. So just at the top here we've got the little um, label that's unique to this grinder and it's the Zebra. Um, so that's the one that we've got on our website as well as the, uh, the black. Okay, so um, the only thing in between us and uh, the grinder are these two paper tape seals. So let's get into it. So now this should just pop open. I've got to attack this too. Okay, so some paper tape, uh, paper packaging. It says here, good choice, something like that. Okay, so first thing, it's this. It's just some instructions, materials, some specs, data sheet, different languages. Pop that in. Got two of them. This is one beautiful. Wow, look at this. Your grinder has been quality checked and packaged with love by Bianca K. We have a little signature from Bianca. All right, so the first thing that we're confronted with after taking the um, manual out is a beautiful display of all of our pieces. So we've got the two glass canisters. Just pop this forward a little bit with the lid. Very nice. It's a heavy glass jar. We've got the beautiful Beautiful um, crank with the wood knob, real wood. Stainless steel, and this is plastic as well. Or glass. I think that's plastic. Very nice, high quality. You can feel it. So this actually comes out. All right, so this comes out. Wow, look at that. This says Comandante, the brand. Beautiful. Of course, never been used before. This is a wood veneer. Feels grippy. I was a little bit um, hesitant because I thought that the, um, the size wouldn't be fitting in my hand looked a little bit big in images but that's actually a really nice I don't think I'll be having that issue it's a really nice size just 
fits very snug. If I had smaller hands, maybe, maybe not, but I don't have the largest either. So, and this just pops on, like so. Very smooth. Incredibly smooth. Wow. This just, this is magnetic, so that just clips on and off. This is made from glass, these glass jars. And this is my first time using one of these, so, or feeling one of these even, so it feels very special. Okay, so I've had a little play around with it. First impressions, um, extremely high quality packaging, the material I've never seen a grinder like this before. I'm used to using the um, Knock, I think, I believe it's the Aero Grind. Um, it's seen better days, but, um, and I did receive that second hand. Compared to this, it, I, it's um, it's on another level, really. The um, attention to detail is yeah quite immaculate. Um, so I've got some coffee, and um, we're going to do a little um, grind comparison, maybe, um, and just see uh, what this cap grinder is capable of doing. All right, so let's. Um, Get some beans. This is kind of a medium roast, so nothing too um, too crazy to start off with. Let's just do ten. Okay, so this has um, pretty large capacity. Um, I'm mainly interested in seeing. The grind settings for the moment so I haven't had a too much of a play around with the grind settings but what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to um, adjust finer until the handle or the crank doesn't move there's some resistance so let's just see I'm just going increments of two and this is how you find the zero point. Okay. You can kind of see that it's getting flush. So it looks pretty fine. Cool. All right, so that's the zero point. So see how this handle doesn't doesn't go any further than that. So just release. Cool. So this is two clicks. So you find your zero point, finest. So that's our zero point. Now anything coarser counts as a click. So that's one click. So this system um, is very useful because it's universal to this grinder. So one click here um, will be one click anywhere else in the world. Um, obviously the grind size does depend on um, some other things, the uh, density of the beans, what, um, how lightly dark um, or dark your roast is. There's a lot more at play. So just gonna load up 10 grams. Um, one click and let's see how that goes would help if we put our container our glass canister on Coming to the end now, I can feel a lot less resistance. 
Whoa, that was tough. Okay. That was exceptionally, exceptionally fine. Okay, so I'm going to use this as my reference because that's incredibly fine. Um, that's, that's some Turkish level stuff. Turkish coffee level stuff. Wow. All right, we'll get a zoom in of that. It's basically baking powder. Wow. Okay. All right, let's go for maybe 10 clicks. Let's see what that gets us. Okay, so we're gonna go coarser. So we're on, oh, I might need to find my zero point again. All right, so I've just dosed another five grams and um, I found my zero point. So let's go 10 clicks course. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. All right. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this off. And do a little experiment. Five grams in. Tear this out. Let's see what we get. Let's go. I think that was it. Wow, okay, that was very quick. Um, let's see what that got us. Yep, five out. Cool, okay. All right. I'm a little bit um, hesitant to go to be as rough as um, what I'm used to because the, uh, the knock is metal. So just for reference, um, this is the Aero Grind. Um, when I have my grind, um, sorry, my coffee beans ground, I'm, I'm usually pretty rough with it. Um, and then I tap it a lot. It's got all these wear around here. <laughs> okay, so um, that's what 10 grams, um, so excuse me, that's what 10 clicks uh, course got me. Um, let's go 20. Okay, so this is an additional 10 clicks course. Um, which makes it 20 clicks. Uh, let's see what that gets us. And that's it. Cool, okay. I feel like five grams. <laughs> okay, so now that's um, going into more relay calls. So I think anything above um, 20 clicks is more for your pour overs. Um, so it's espressos, pour over, and then anything above 30 I could imagine being quite um, quite coarse. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, let's get a close up of these. Okay, so I wanted this video to be more of um, an unboxing as well as a first impressions. I didn't really want to get too much into um, the specs, like how much it, um, it weighs and all that sort of stuff, but um, that does matter, um, especially when it comes to the decision making process um, when you're looking to purchase one of these. Um, and I'll do another video on that maybe later. This is a high quality, consistent, precise, heavy piece of equipment. It is extremely rugged. I wouldn't say it's 
durable. Maybe it's durable um, in the sense of time, but it's not durable in its materials. You wouldn't want to throw this around um, in your bag. Now, in summary, um, I think it's an amazing grinder. Um, I'm super excited to use this and super excited to um, put out heaps of content with this grinder um, and make some amazing tasting coffees with this grinder. It is, there's some pros and there's some cons and that comes into play when you factor in your personal preferences as well. So if I say this is a heavy grinder, that might be absolutely fantastic if you're looking for um, the most precise piece of equipment out there. Um, something that that doesn't matter to to you, whether you're keeping it just in the home or just in the coffee bar. If it's um, purely for travel, that's gonna be a con. So it's really hard to differenti uh, differentiate between a pro and a con as that's different for everyone. So um, I like the fact that it's um, heavy. It's, it's a sign of quality um, to me. It's full stainless steel, um, as well as the um, heavy glass container and everything. So it is high quality materials, um, without a doubt. And it's precision made. Um, the clicks, so when adjusting this, the clicks are stepped, meaning that you can um, position it only where it's indicated. Now there are, um, like so, there are some, uh, there is a, a red clicks, I believe it's called, um, option available, and that is um, more tailored for espresso use. Um, it is, it is a little bit tricky because, again, um, the clicks are good because I'll be using this predominantly for filter. I wouldn't imagine using it for espresso. The first, um, the first grind that I did with it was on, I think it was one or two clicks and I was there for a good 10 minutes. Um, maybe on the off chance if there's, if I'm using a flare or something that's not that fine, um, yeah, 100%, that would matter. Um, it doesn't for me, but that's that's okay. Um, now, one thing that really bugged me, and I love this grinder, so one thing that really bugged me is that the crank is attached to the lid. Now, that might not bug you, that might not impact you at all. I don't like it. Straight up, I don't like it. I don't like that when I take this off, it's closed. Uh, sorry, it's open, it's exposed. Uh, things can go in, things can come out. It's messy when transporting. I think that isn't a design flaw, that's more a personal preference. Um, what that means for me is when I'm gonna be traveling, I'm going to potentially consider um, putting it into a bag that is tailored for this grinder. Now, um, like I said, that's more to do with my personal preference um, than it does to say about this grinder, the quality of um, design on this grinder. I don't think is impacted by that. Um, another thing just to uh, point out with my first initial impression when using and playing with this grinder, um, I found there was a lot of static buildup here, and that was kind of annoying. Um, I'm trying to look and I'm and I'm trying to learn how to um, best use this product. And um, the best way that I found to to do to clean it, um, yeah, I mean, it's incredibly easy to take apart and to um, uh, grind all the way. Uh, sorry, adjust all the way coarse and then remove the burst set, the inner. Um, the uh, burr as well as the uh, axle. That's incredibly easy to do, but I'm not gonna be doing that after every single use. So I was looking for a way to quickly 
and conveniently clean it. Um, and I came up with this. So this is just a pressurized standard. This is for dust for computers or for lenses, for photography. Um, and this works really well. Just literally like that. All the, all the excess retained grinds come out and um, literally just like this. So grinds do get trapped here. And um, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but just after doing that, there is some buildup. Um, especially when you're grinding finer, um, they tend to go, they tend to get everywhere. I didn't find I'd have so much of an issue with the uh, grind retention or the static buildup with the knock. Uh, that's again probably to do so with the uh, the amount of use that it's had. Um, this is one day old. It's a baby. <laughs> I'm not a professional at using this, so um, yeah, that that might change. Um, but that was my initial impression. All in all, I am super stoked to be using this grinder. Um, I, I think I will maybe sew up a bag to uh, uh, to conveniently take it places, because I do want to take it places. I want to show it off and, um, and make coffee when I'm away traveling. Uh, super stoked to be using this grinder. Um, I hope this has given you some insight um, as to my first impressions. Uh, maybe give you a bit of a better understanding um, on what to expect maybe I'm not too sure but um, yeah in no way this was a um, negative review I'm, I'm really really quite happy um, and I can't wait to use it uh, let me know if you've got one um, I'll, I want to talk about this I want to um, I want to know your thoughts. I want to know whether it's worth it for you. Um, this is a precision piece of equipment that is uh, at a high price, one of the highest prices in hand grinders. Is it worth it for you? Are you considering getting one of these? Do you have any questions? Let me know. Um, and if you like this video, um, yeah, like the video. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and um, yeah. Stay carefully, you guys.